Hello, great minds, and welcome to the mathematical and statistical aspect of measurement and evaluation in education. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the Spearman rank difference correlation. Yeah. Uh, this is not a theory aspect, but just to put things into perspective, correlation tells us if there is a relationship between two variables. Yes, either uh, either one variable is related to another variable. For instance, if there is a positive relationship, if one variable increases, the other variable too would increase. But if there is a negative relationship, if one variable increases, uh, the other variable will decrease. So your answer can either be positive, negative, or zero. Now, if it is positive one, it means there's a perfect positive relationship between the data. And then if it is negative one, it means there's a perfect negative relationship between the data. And if it is zero, it means there's no relationship at all. We'll look at further interpretations later. But let's see. Now, Spearman rank difference is used when the data are disposed as small, less than 30. If the score are more than 30, it's best to use the Pearson product method. So this one is based when the score are less than 30. Now the data is in ranks and can easily be ranked. Okay, it's easier than the Pearson. Now look at the formula here. Here's the formula. Please don't be overwhelmed by the formula. It's very easy. The only thing you are calculating here is summation d square. Every other thing is given. Yes, this is the only thing you are calculating. So don't be overwhelmed. Okay. It's just summation this why every other thing is given so this one is constant on the formula if you can just count the formula you're okay this six is also constant this end means the number of paired observations which you can just count let me just show you an example you can just count look at these are two observations they will always give you two observations and then they ask you to calculate correlation that means you compare if there's a relationship between those two observations this could be phase a and sequence a and they want to see if there's a relationship between that phase a and sequence a so you count the number of paired observations and that will be your end so this is one two three four five so in that calculation, your n will be 5. So anywhere you see n in the formula, you will put 5. So it's easy to find n. The only thing we are looking for is summation. This sign means summation, and it means you should add. So d square, we're going to see how to do that. So let's get to it. d means the difference between uh, the first CA, for instance, and the second CA. This x will be first CA, and this will be the second CA. Or oh, sometimes the question may name the x as uh, a particular subject, maybe English, and name y mathematics, and you want to compare their relationship between them. So you find it. So n means number of the so the first step is to assign ranks to uh, both CAs. Let me use uh, CA for instance, or CA and second CA. It's for you to apply ranks. By applying ranks, I'm saying you should give the score position. You know, you should give the position. The highest score you should give the position one, just like you give position two. Then uh, you give it position one. Then uh, the second highest you give it position two. The third highest you give it position three. Then the final one. Okay. Then you do the same thing in the second CA, which is why. Now, if the values tie together or they are the same thing, you give it an average rank. Now, the next thing to do is to find the difference between the rank. You find the difference between uh, uh, the, the, the rank of the face score and then the rank in the rank of the face score in face year and then the rank of the face score in second year. So, I want to see that particular. Now, after you finish that, then now go ahead to square each of it. We'll look at that. Then, the next thing is to add it up and then next is to substitute the formula and then interpret it. So, let's look at it practically, okay. So remember I said the first thing to do is to rank the values, rank the value. So if we are ranking this one now, look at this is 4CA. Mm. So which student took first? This one. So then you call it position one. Then the next one, position two. Then eight will be position three. If you are ranking, then seven will be position four. Then this one, five. Uh, we carry last position five. Then in the next set of score, you know, position one will go to 15, position two will go to 12, position three will go to 10. Position four will go to eight. Position five will go to uh, six. So you see, that's what we mean by the, we mean by ranking. You are just given the post position. Mm -hmm. Now, for to do this beta, to do this beta, yes, you can just say, okay, position ten equal to one, uh, comma, position eight. Uh, score eight took score eight could be this is another score. Each score represents a student. So score eight, position three. That student took three. Uh, score nine, that student took second. Score five, that student took uh, fifth. Then score seven, that student took fourth. So that's how you go about it. Look at it here. Look at it. Score ten, this student took. So yes, you can use equals sign instead of it if you want. Then the next, you put everything in a tabular form. Mm -hmm. X, just bring up your scores away. X, just bring this, put it in a column. Just call it X. And then bring your data exactly there. Ten. 8, 9, 5, and 7. Then you put the ranks beside it. Rank, you put the ranks beside it. 10, 1, 8, carry position 3, 9, carry position 2. You know, then you do the same thing for y too. Y, mm, you put all the numbers the way they are 12, 15, 10, you know, then 12, you put the position behind it. 
that's how you do it so look at it here practically so you see we put the scores and then we put the opposition beside them we put the score we put the opposition beside them now the next thing to find the d means the rank of x minus the rank of y so the rank of the phase score in x minus the rank of the phase score in y so look at you do one minus two you get minus one is that okay sure then you do uh three minus one you get two two minus three you get minus one uh five so if you don't know uh, if you get this just press the calculator five minus four you get one and the next is four minus five you get minus one so after you are done with this you just use your calculator to find it so uh I'm supposed to add a column to show this here, but the column is not there, so you can add it on your own. So you just add another another column here, which will represent the square. Now you use your calculator, you call that column D square. In the next example, I'm going to add the column D. You call it D square. So D square means you should square all the values in D. So you square one, square of one. Uh, one square is this, minus one square is the same thing as uh, minus one multiplied by minus one, which will give you one. Hmm? Two square means two times two, so which will give you so at the end of the day if you press your calculator you are going to have one here you are going to have one four one one again and then uh, the last one will still be one so and then if you add up everything that is what we call summation d square if you add everything in d square we call it summation d square so one plus four is five plus one is six plus one is seven plus one is eight so your summation d square will be equal to eight look at it your summation d square is equal to eight and then your n remember i told you how to find n mm -hmm. so now anywhere you see summation d square in the formula you substitute with it and anywhere you see n you substitute with five n is the number of observation p of observation this is one two three four and then five so one minus so look at look at your formula here so just for emphasis so we substitute the summation d square this six is constant and this one is constant so anywhere we see this summation d square we replace it with that our final answer which is eight so we are going to have something like this one minus six Open bracket instead of summation d square, we just put our eight, so we have the number now. Then we divide it by now. Instead of n, we put five. Then open bracket n square minus one. Close the bracket. Sorry, instead of n square, we'll put five square. Remember, anywhere we see n, we put five, so we put five square, right? So the next thing you just go ahead with your calculator. So bring down your one, don't subtract say you do six times eight. Mm? Anything that you get, you write it down. Then all over, then you do five, uh, five square, uh, five square. Will give you 25 so below you have 25 so let's just look at it together so look at it here look at 6 times 8 will give you 48 now 5 square will give you 25 that's why you see 25 inside so to clear the bracket you see 5 times 25 it will give you 120 125 5 times 25 will give you 125 so to clear the bracket you multiply everything outside by what is inside so 5 times 25 will give you 125 then 5 times minus 1 will give you minus 5 so 125 minus 5 will give you 120 that's why we have 120 here okay now the next thing to do is leave this one so just 1 minus 48 over 120 place it with your calculator you get 0 0.4 now 1 minus 0 0.4 will give you 0 0.6 so that's why we have this 0 0.6 so the interpretation is that this 0 0.6 is positive right so it is positive it means there is a positive correlation between the two set of score but we call it moderate positive yes so here are the interpretations look at the interpretation sheet here now if your final answer is positive one is perfect positive correlation if your answer is between 0 0.8 to 0 0.99 you see it's very strong positive correlation if it is 0 0.6 to 0 0.79 we call it a uh, strong positive if it is 0 0.4 to 0 0.5 now you call it a uh, moderate positive so you can see the interpretation above should be since it's between 0 0.6 to 0 0.79 it's supposed to be a strong uh, positive relationship so if it is zero there's no correlation these are the interpretations i've shared this statement with you i'm just explaining so i will take one more example right now here's the second example and this one uh this is 20 this is 2024 question 20 just last year yeah so you are given the data and then you are asked to compute the spearman's rank correlation between uh mathematics and english so this one is two different these are score of students right in mathematics and english so you want to compare if there's a relationship between those scores between their scores in mathematics and their scores in English. So mathematics 98. Now, fortunately for us, on this question, the 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 the, the scores are ordered from the highest to the lowest, and then from the lowest to the highest. And that's why it is so you just go ahead with the ranking. You just go ahead with the ranking. Remember, I told you what ranking is by giving the scores position. So 98 is the highest, so you hit 98, position one, 97 follows, position two, 95 follows, position three, 94 follows, position four. You do like that, you give it position. Then for English too, uh, 
for English, 57th is the last. So 57 will carry position position 10. Mm -hmm. Then 58, position 9, 60, you know. Uh -huh. So you just give it the position. If you look at this post, what are you going to do first position? This one, 76 will carry first. 75 will carry second. 72 will carry third. Then this guy will carry. You will continue like that. <coughs> Sorry. I lost that. So that's it. Now, the next thing is to form a table, just like I told you before. So you form a table, then you put uh, the scores, and then you put the run beside the score. So this is mathematics. You put the score exactly the way it is in the question. Then you put the rank. Score 98 to fourth position. You know. Then for English, score 57 to 10 position. So you arrange everything beside. Now, remember I told you that I'm going to show the workings here. Now, here, look at D means uh, the rank of the the rank of mathematics score minus the rank of the English score. So mathematics minus English. Um, anything you get is your answer. So if you do if you do one minus ten, you get minus nine. If you do two minus nine, you get minus seven. If you do three minus eight, you get minus five. If you do four minus seven, you get minus three. So you just continue subtracting till the last one. You have ten minus one. Last lastly, so you have plus nine. Look at it here. Now the next thing to do is to square them. Look at. Your square them so your d square means you should square all the observation in this square all of them look at it here so if you do nine square you get 81 you do seven square you get 49 you do uh, five square you get 25 this square you get nine so you continue like that now your summation d square will be the sum of all these columns when you add everything here that will be your summation d square sorry summation d square summation d so step two is to complete the sum of these squares now add just add the columns and anything you get uh, that will be your summation d square now look at the formula again remember we say the formula is one minus six hmm? summation d square right all over m i hope you remember the formula minus one so that's the formula right so here now you know if we add all the columns for summation d square we'll get 330 so here we replace we replace summation d square with 330. Then for n, the number of observation is 10. So we replace it with 10. So anywhere we see n, we replace it with 10. Now here look at the formula here. Let's just look at it here. Mm -hmm. So our one is here as usual. Now instead of summation uh d square, we put 330. If you add all this column of d square, you get that 330. Mm -hmm. Then uh so from here you use your calculator to get uh the final answer. You follow just the same process we did on the first question and then you're going to get minus one last so that would be a perfect negative correlation between mathematics scores and english scores so let me know anywhere you have further challenge or the comment section if you need me to explain more i'll do that and then if there's any other question you want me to do video on you can also put it on the comment section or you send it down to me i'm going to do that so thank you and then i'll see you on the next video on uh piercing product moment Thank you.